Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina. Today we're going to cover diseases most common to punis and use this information as a guide to help you identify symptoms of its problems and also to assess your plant management and treatment disease. So let's get to it. Here are the following issues or problems of growing punis in the garden and also growing in the container. I put them together for you guys to help you get started. So let's begin with the number one problem. The number one most common disease of puny is Botrytis blight, which is also known as grey mold. The disease is caused by the fungus Botrytis piney and is very prevalent in warm, damp, humid and rainy seasons. And if you guys have plenty of rains in your area and the humidity is too high, your peony is more likely getting the disease. Oh my god, it's going to rain pretty soon guys. The cloud is getting black. So uh, the symptom of the disease, you will notice the young shoots rot off just at the uh, ground level and the leaves wilt, die and collapse. And this is most likely happening when the shoots grow about 8 inches tall. As the disease progresses, you will also notice the infected stems of peony will become soft and water soak and turn black and just above the ground level the infected stem will be covered of gray mold the mold is the result of the spore accumulating in the infected rotted tissue oh my god holy cow oh my gosh that was horrible the rain was pouring like crazy i had to run away from the courtyard and rush myself to get inside the greenhouse and it's still raining so if you guys heard the uh, noise background in this video apology this is uh, rain pouring the roof of my greenhouse and i will do my best so you guys can hear me do you know that the sound of rain will make you sleepy and it is great sleeping meditation and right now I'm getting sleepy so see you in the morning <laughs> all right let's get back to the video guys so the second problem of peony is powdery mildew and the disease is caused by uh, the fungus recipe now powdery mildew is attacking a wide range of plants in the garden, especially roses, and it is not just peony. This is not something that will alarm you to apply fungicides right away. It is not lethal to the plant. It is just making it ugly. But if it is always occurring to your plant, it affects the vitality of your peony. And the symptoms and signs of the disease, you will notice the plant will be covered by floppy white substance and it infects the leaves. You will see on the powdery mildew on the surface of the leaves. Also, it infects the bud and sometimes the buds become deformed and also the powdery will be covering the stem. Now, the powdery mildew most likely uh, infects your plant if there is a change in temperature, like if you have a humid days, uh, hot days in spring and also in the fall and followed by some colder nights, this is the perfect weather that the fungus will uh, grow in your, uh, in your plants. Now, uh, here's what I do when I control powdery mildew. I will see you guys. So if I spray my uh, powdery mildew uh, for example, I have an infected leaves. I use my aesthetic plants and spray the infected areas. And with my thumb, I rub the powdery mildew. It is really helping removing the powdery and also helping the uh, healing process of the plant. So try using your, your thumb after you spray fungicides. It really uh, helps uh, removing those fungus. Now, since this spore can be sprayed by you, or by wind or by the tools you use that you did not sanitize or by transplant so it is imperative that you need to apply sanitation this is part of your gardening principle now management the same thing as managing botrytis plant cut back your uh, peony at the end of the season cut it to a desired level like almost on the uh, ground level and also uh, thinning the foliage may be helpful to create proper circulation because if it is too much humidity it favors the fungal growth 
Now, don't compost the infected leaves. You don't want the spore getting to your, to your healthy plants. Now, when the spring comes, you might uh, spray your plant. This is your pre-spring treatment. Spray with sulfur or uh, copper or fungicides when you see the tips of the plant emerge or breaks through the ground. And uh, do this in the two weeks, uh, following two weeks, and apply in pesticides or fungicides in a 14-day cycle until the plant is established and giving and producing flowers for you. All right, so the uh, third problem is peony blast. And I'm going to cover this later in this video coming up. Peony blast, also known as red, uh, red spot or measles. The disease is caused by the fungus Cladosporium piney. And the symptoms first appearance, you will notice a uh, small circular purple spot. As the disease progresses, the whole plant may be affected by purple blotches. And foliage affected by the disease doesn't fall early and stem doesn't die back. Now, it is like powdery mildew, the disease is not lethal to the plant, and your management would be removing infective debris and foliage thinning to create proper earth circulation. Also, avoid overhead watering. Application of fungicide spray will also help treat the problem. Now, the number four problem of peony is Pythoptura blight, a disease caused by the fungus Pythoptura cacturum. Now, this is the fungi which lives on moist soil, causes Pythoptura blight. Now, flooded and saturated soil condition, like what I have now, I am flooding right now, guys. So, it's a favorable condition of fungal growth. And the symptom uh, stems around the soil line, may show darken and leathery, and they may wilt and die. So, the plant can develop root rot and crown rot, causing the entire plant to rot. Now, plant can be pulled easily. In my opinion, if I have this uh, problem, I would uh, remove the disease plant and toss it away and buy a new plant. So I think it is not worth saving. The uh, next problem is southern blight, also known as crown rot or white mold. Now this, this is the disease caused by the fungus Polycularia rolfsii and in other, any other types of pathogen. Now fungi will survive in the soil and spread by flowing water or contaminated soil. Now transplant and uh, using tools also can be spread by this fungus. Hot humid day following with intermittent rains are favorable condition of fungal growth and then the disease causes deterioration and rotting of the stems. And at times they, it also uh, create a rot of the crown of the plant causing the leaves to turn yellow, collapse and die. Now the disease can, be, can kill the entire plant so it is imperative that you are going to remove or destroy the plant right away so i would say this this disease is a killer guy now the next problem of peony is foliar nematodes unlike uh, nematodes that feeds on the roots this is feeds on the aerial surface or the leaf, uh, like the leaves now foliar nematode also common problem on peony this spreads so quickly uh, showing disease-like symptoms. Now, they live in and feed on leaves. They can swim through standing water and will infect foliage. Now, your management of the problem would be is to keep the leaves dry at all times and avoid overhead watering. Application of irrigation might be better to, uh, to avoid this problem. And also, dead leaves should be removed and apply sanitation. Now, application of fungicides may be also important to help reduce and control nematodes. Now, the next uh, last problem that we we'll talk about, guys, is viral disease. And this is probably the most dangerous in your, when it gets to your plant. Now, the peony can sometimes predispose or subject to some sort of viral disease, like a ring, ring blood or any kind of <laughs> disease that attack your, uh, attacking your plants. Now, viral disease, uh, as I mentioned, that it's also your peony also prone of this uh, virus. And uh, if this is happening, guys, if you have a virus, destroy the plant, burn it, and make sure that when you buy a new plant, don't plant it in the same spot where you grow your peony. So the, uh, you will notice this uh, problem 
if you see signs and symptoms that the plant, the leaves will be uh, diminishing. Uh, it affects the chlorophyll production. You can see that there is a webbing on the uh, leaves and the branching and dwarfing of the plants. And also you will see necrotic. Necrotic means a dead tissue. All right, guys, so this is for now. Is the information helpful? Hit subscribe, guys, if you haven't subscribed in, in this channel. Also, don't forget to always hit the bell so you get notified right away every time I release a new video. And I don't want you guys miss anything. So this is it, the uh, problem of peonies. If you guys have some of these problems, so the, your management is controlling, uh, controlling that problem is by keeping the humidity low because high humidity is most likely attacking uh, the fungus will attack to the plant and then make sure that the foliage is uh, thin, uh, creates air circulation and avoid overhead watering, apply fungicides if it is needed and always do a spring treatment. That is what I do here in my garden. I pre-treatment all my plants in spring. So thank you for watching guys. <laughs> this is Marcelina at CashierGreens.com. If you need uh, the products that I mentioned here, just click the link description below. So Thank you for watching. This is Marcelina at CashioGains.com. See you next time. Peace out.